If you're feeling even a tad bit stressed about school starting in the next couple of weeks and need some organization tips to get your life back together, then welcome to this video. Hey y'all, before we get started with this video, I would like to say this video is sponsored by HipPaw, a 100% safe and free online video editing tool for users to have an easy and reliable way of creating stunning and beautiful videos. To get started, all you have to do is import your video clips and from there you have access to so many different tools. Firstly, you can cut your video at any length and at any time. You can crop and resize your footage at any dimensions you'd like, add music, and even add text anywhere in the video as you'd like. When you're satisfied with everything, you can save and download it into your hard drive. Finally, you can take all your video clips and merge them into one beautiful, stunning video. So here's a small clip of a video that I actually edited using this software. So if you're interested in checking them out, all the links are in my description. Now on to this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to show you guys different ways to organize your school papers, your binders, folders, notebooks, and all that jazz. So without making this intro too long, let us just get right into it. Alrighty, so the first method of organizing your papers is using the journal. The journal is probably the most traditional way to store your class notes, any additional notes you took, and even your homework. For me, I really like using journals because all of my notes are all in one place, and since there aren't any loose pieces of paper, the chances of me losing any of them are a lot less. Personally, I would recommend you to have one notebook, one entire notebook, for one subject, especially if the class you're taking requires you to take a lot and a lot of notes, you're really going to want to consider having an entire notebook just for one subject. I also think it helps you keep everything more organized. Alright, so my only con for using journals is that if your teacher ever gives you a handout or a piece of notes to keep, you don't exactly have a folder or anywhere to store them but perhaps you might consider using a folder as well. Alrighty, so the next method I wanna talk about are binders. This actually happens to be my favorite method of organizing papers because I tend to get a lot of handouts from teachers and it's just super easy to just hole punch it and put it in my binder. Additionally, I can use loose leaf paper to write my notes, which is convenient because for some classes I take like barely any notes and for other, I take so many notes. Now, I actually made a super detailed video on how to organize your binder, so if you wanna go check that out, it is right here in the cards. Again, I would recommend you using one entire binder for one subject. Again, you can just divide your notes in a lot more detailed way. You can really, really take advantage of those tab dividers. Now, the only con with binders is that you are gonna have to put in effort to organize it, which can sometimes be a struggle, especially if you just shove tons of papers into that firm pocket. Whatever you do, please do not use it. It gets, it gets you so lazy so easily. Just don't do it. All right, and the third way to organize your papers is using an expanding file folder. In my opinion, an expanding file folder is literally just a bunch of folders combined into one. It's a super effective way to just store everything for all your classes in one place. Now, I don't recommend you to use an expanding file folder as your main organization system, but rather a system to store any important documents or handouts such as exams or test reviews or quizzes and this will just make it so easy to like retrieve these documents when midterms and final seasons come around and it's so much easier than just scrambling through your entire binder trying to find just one important handout so I, I highly recommend you to take advantage of this. 
Alrighty, so now I wanted to talk a little about how to organize your study space, your binders, your folders, and all that good stuff. All right, the first thing I want to really stress is how important it is to have a clean study space, have a clean desk. Something about it just being clean motivates you so much. So at the moment, I have started not putting anything on my desk, no pens, no stationery, no nothing. I only have my computer and maybe a couple pens, but I'll put it back in its place like right after I'm done studying. And just something about it is just so motivating and I highly encourage you to try it out. In terms of keeping and storing my stationery, I actually put all my stationery on my windowsill. It's like right next to my desk, so it's very easy to retrieve. And I just keep the essentials. I keep Crayola Super Tips, some mod liners, erasers, lead, tape, all that good stuff. And then on the other side, I just have my favorite pens, my brush pens, and my favorite pencils. And if you know anything about me, I am a huge stationery addict. This is definitely not my full collection, but in order to be as minimalistic as possible, I just keep the bare minimums, the basics on my windowsill. As for the rest of my stationery, I actually have a cubicle that's also right by my desk where I keep the rest of my stationery. I have erasable pens, Tombow Jewel brush pens, literally five, 50 different colors of sharpies like anything you can think of i probably have it and i just have it stored in this one cubicle and beyond that i also use a couple of cubicles just to jazz the place up and make it look cute and just motivating again not everything is about the aesthetics but it is okay to splurge every now and then and then in order to organize and keep all my binders and folders and notebooks i just put them in little storage bins it's nothing extraordinary special or organized but this system works really well for me because i can just quickly identify where everything is and like what i need but if you definitely need to organize that space a little more that's totally up to you Anyways guys, as you know, I am horrible at ending videos, but this is the end of the video and I really hope you enjoyed. If you liked any of the organization methods that I presented and want me to do a more detailed video on it, then just let me know and I'll be very, very happy to do that for you guys. Anyways, that is pretty much it and I will see you guys later. Bye!